Hey, welcome back to the channel. Dick Fast here. Today, I'm going to show you how to do something I have absolutely no clue how to do myself. So we're going to learn together, like those kids that are hooked on chronics or hydroponics. Get hooked on phonics. So whatever the hell these kids learn these days, I don't know because I skipped class. Okay? But if you're anything like me, when you're driving up the road, you want to see that sucker lit up like a porta potty at a Keith Brooks concert. So you got no time to waste. That's why I'm swapping out these old school 1985 headlights from the Cutlass for these secret Amazon specials right here. But honestly, when I'm going to hit something in the road, I want to look at the whites of its eyes directly before impact. That way I get to know it and I feel like I'm not wasting my time. Now I'm no expert, but after an extensive three second gander upon on toward it, I could tell exactly what tools I needed for the job. The Knuckle Banger 9000 and the Finger Molester 8400. That's why I decided I'd get everything ready, put all my ducks in a crow. Tri-tip Phillips banger, your torque and auber. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. So four, Naked. But anyways, these new units, these are supposed to be some hell of a units right here. But it says they're full of lead or something. So don't go licking on this like a short bus window. Yeah, my wife asked me what I want for Christmas. I said I want the Amazon special, honey. So you know what she did? She delivered. I know you're thinking, that's a hell of a woman. And you're right. Now, I've convinced myself to get this headlight out. I'm going to need to get my hand back and behind that headlight there. But the problem is, she's tighter than a lady Sasquatch. That's why I go straight to the cooking oil. You want to get in a tight spot? I want to put my whole hand in there. So that's why you need to lube your whole hand, okay? And the reason I use the cooking oil is because once I get it in there, I get the wrist going and things warm up. I can smell fresh baked muffins and biscuits from the front of the car. And trust me, this is beneficial in multiple ways. Ladies love fresh baked muffins and biscuits way more than they love raw gas and burnt rubber remember that lads all right now this should just hold right in that housing Now that I got these headlights out in about 12 teen seconds, like a true professional, no friggin' pains whatsoever. Damn it! Fuck! 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 Cock sucker! Bacon eating fucking. We can uh, move on to installing the new ones, but hey, guess what? There's nothing actually wrong with these headlights. So, in true dick fashion, I'll probably store these for about 15 years. And forget that I have them two months from now. And uh, someday when I find them, it'll probably be a week after I've bought a brand new set for another car or something like that. Because that's just how my luck is. Anyways, cheerio. God, it's humid out today. I'm getting more hot and bothered in here than a friggin' hooker at breakfast. God. Well, now I want to put it back together. I just had to search the entire garage. Garage? Hey, fellas, the garage. Well, ooh la dee da, Mr. Frenchman. Well, what do you call it? A car hole. Because apparently, somehow, during my diligent removal. Fuck. Damn it! Fuck! Cocksucker! I lost it. But, anyways, it's back now. Just like those dogs from that movie. So, let's get into installing these new lights here. You can see. They're about as pretty as your girlfriend. So check them out. Now, they're going to make this car look a lot better. And these can just pop right in that housing and fit like a glove. The cord plugs right in. So I'll get these installed now. 
And then I'll have to re-lubricate my hand in order to get it in the back because that thing's tighter than a friggin' Forest Ranger's arsehole. Each light has these four flat tabs in each corner. And when you slide that in, the cord will go down. You can just tell because it says this side up. If you can't read, your cord will be at the bottom. And uh, these tabs will just butt right up on these flat spots in there. So there's no play, no adjustment in that. And uh, you see these two lower tabs are spread farther apart than these upper tabs. So yeah, the upper is close together, like you and your stepsister. The lower, a little farther apart, like you and your stepdad. Just like that. Now if I can manage not to uh, somehow send one of these screws into the next room, we'll be all right. Power tools are overrated, trust me. Want to be a man? Use your hands. Okay? If you practice enough with these hands, women will love you. Instead of just lying to you and telling you they love you. They actually will. Can you see my reflection in there? Handsome as hell. I can see nine of myself in there right now. Like a spider. So you can imagine how impressed I am. I'm always having a bitch of a time getting at the back of these headlights, so now I gotta plug these in, I'll have to reapply my trusty lubrication. Believe me, she just pops right in there like a freaking weasel. Oh no. Gosh darn it. All right, whether you believe it or not, we got these units installed permanently in their new holes. Woo! So, uh, yeah, anybody that was hard far smart that was making a YouTube video, they probably would have showed you what these lights look like beforehand before they switched them out so that you can do a comparison. But seeing as I've been hopped up on five Canadian cigarettes since I woke up this morning, I'm going to have to flash you to a scene of somebody else's car. But trust me, it looks the exact same as these did. Now, if I can weasel my large body into some of these small areas because my garage is such a disaster, piled with things, I'll uh, attempt to turn these on so you can check them out. Nothing? Nope. Well, that's because the battery's dead. <laughs> okay. God damn it! Zero. It's got about as many volts as you. Zero. When I say you, I mean me. God damn it! What the fuck? Forget it. Oh. Now I did what I feel like any good Canadian redneck would do. Slap this here player's battery up here on the front face and tossed it with these rusty old cock sucking cables to the battery. But guess what? We got power because I can hear the door alarm dinging in there. Well, let's go test these now. I can see the lights. Hey, we got... Uh... Is that a bad indication or a good indication? <laughs> I don't think the headlight works. Like the key. Come on. Big body. Voila! They don't work. I mean, they work great. I mean, fuck. God damn it. All day. <laughs> <laughs>
well because of the state because of the state it got the car in right now the uh headlight switch ain't actually working right now but i got the ultra jerry rig 9000 canvas style right here so i'm gonna fire one of these bad boys up and show you what it will look like okay so use your imaginator okay there it is folks and now that's proof that they do work and to be honest I might not run a hood at first, so I could just pay a guy to sit up here and hold this cable on there when I do my night driving. But like I explained before, I like to see the road well. I like it to be lit up like an angel's arsenal from the sky down. So, that's what they'll look like. Imagine that. Four times as much light as that coming through night's atmosphere. These lights are so nice, I might keep them on during day driving as well just for the freaking pure showmanship of it hell yeah now believe me i realized this video is going to be pure shit these headlights didn't work so i came out here this morning i fixed up that switch and that for you so we can check these out now for low beams it runs the outsides for high beams it just runs the centers here if you want to run all four lights at once for high beam you can wire that up yourself or you can buy wiring kits for that you'll figure it out i believe in you hopefully with this information you could do this to your own car and maybe you'd even have your headlight switch working and for you you could actually use it maybe you wouldn't have your engine torn apart either so you could actually drive the car maybe you wouldn't be four months into an extended build on your car because you're working 80 hours a week with them roof boys slamming lids okay well thanks for watching i hope you learned something there and yeah i learned something too so i guess we're both learning together and uh, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of projects going on with this car right here. We're about to slam this 455 into it there so we can, uh, you know, burn up more tires and burn four rubbers a night just like your neighbor's mother. And uh, give us a like and a comment. You know, it just helps YouTube let us know that we're good guys and other people might want to watch the videos too. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you watching. Cheers, brother.